know different kind of information based on data, but often available data at their scarcest in the poorest countries where there are generally limited resources for collecting and preparing data. It can often be very hard to see below the national level and pinpoint the parts of a country where the service delivery is falling behind. One way of meeting this challenge is to put together data from different sources using novel techniques. So we've been interested for a long time in looking at locational data and how to use them to tackle problems in public health and demography. Location can add a lot of value to data. You can use location to link different data sets together and you can use it to identify where the disadvantaged are living. Um, data have changed a lot, of course, since the Millennium Development Goals first came in in the year 2000. And there's now many new forms of data around. A lot of these data sets, like demographic and health surveys, now actually have geography attached to them. So our idea is to use predictive modelling to pull together these existing sources of data. And in that way, then what we can do is to predict the geography of disadvantaged populations who are lacking services like water and sanitation. And if we do that, what we can do is try and target those pockets of disadvantage to bring everyone up to the same level of living standards. We decided to join this challenge because it's an opportunity to showcase our current work and exchange ideas with experts from different disciplines who share the same research interests and with practitioners monitoring services and ultimately bring vital services like water and sanitation to the people who need them the most.